エドワード・スノーデンさんです。Um, thank you very much for the invitation to speak with you.、Uh, I'd like to apologize to everyone for not speaking、uh, Japanese for the normal question and answer session.、Uh, I, I did study a little bit of Japanese, I guess.、Uh, They're like ordinary people,、uh, not journalists and not engaging in any, any political activity. And so some, like,、uh, it's very hard for the ordinary people to understand the importance. Of like a privacy, you know, again. And、well, people think that, well, the government is just doing that、uh, against the count, you know, in the name of counterterrorism. But, uh, uh, well, ordinary people say that because they are not engaged in any like a dangerous activity, so they are just fine with the you know, government's、uh, monitoring or surveillance. So, how do you respond and how do you persuade the convey your messages to that kind of the people in general? It's, it's a challenge in every country.、Um, I think、uh, Japan is actually a little more sensitive to the privacy issues than many other countries.、Uh, they have, for, for example, privacy protections on many news programs、uh, where they try to hide faces or they try to hide names or, or change voices、uh, for individuals who are in situations of vulnerability where it could cause harm to their reputation.、Um, but that doesn't mean sort of everybody agrees on the issue. That doesn't mean it's、uh, not a problem, of course. Uh, one of the main things is that people don't really understand the concept of, of privacy in the large scale because there is an active interest by corporate and governmental institutions to diminish、uh, the level at which we value privacy.、Uh, one of the most common sort of、uh, criticisms of defenses、uh, made by、uh, officials who are implicated in programs of mass surveillance is if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. It's important to understand that this is actually、uh, quite literally、uh, a statement of Nazi propaganda、uh, from the Second World War.、Uh, this was a statement that was promoted by the German Minister of uh, Propaganda, uh, Joseph Goebbels,、uh, trying to protect extraordinary abuses of human rights,、uh, historic abuses that have never been replicated on that scale before.、Uh, but it simply says, look, don't worry about it. Uh, trust the government, we'll use our authorities appropriately. That's not how democracy works. That's not how an open society works. That's not how privacy works. Because centrally, privacy isn't about something to hide. Privacy isn't about wrongdoing. Privacy isn't about criminality. Privacy is about something to protect. Privacy is about power, right? Privacy is about you. Privacy is the right to the self. Privacy is the right to be you, so long as you're not hurting anybody else, to be free from prejudice, to be free from judgment as you think, as you write, as you create, as you share selectively to decide who it is that you are and who it is that you want to become. More, more generally, everything that you do, right?、Uh, everywhere you go, everything you're interested in, your hobbies, the books you've read,、uh, these are things that other people don't get to know. Unless you want to share them, it's up to you to draw these lines.、Uh, and the reason we do this,、uh, again, is about matters of power. When we think about the Japanese press, right, you can have a right to a free press, but that right is not especially meaningful if journalists can't protect the confidentiality of their sources, if they can't run truly independent、uh, investigations, if they can't write the stories that they want. In the way they want freely,、uh, without being、uh, concerned that governments are monitoring who they're talking to,、uh, they know who their boss is, they're going to talk to their boss, and everything like that.、Uh, most centrally, right, arguing that you don't care about freedom of speech or arguing that you don't care about the right to privacy because you have nothing to hide is no different than saying you don't care about freedom of speech because you have nothing to say. It's misunderstanding the fact that you don't have to have. Any sense of vulnerability. You don't have to have、uh, anything that, that makes you dangerous or different to benefit from it in the moment because it benefits society in a general sense, right? Society protects everyone, as do all rights. You don't need freedom of speech if you're Shinzo Abe because nobody's going to tell you you can't say that. You're a powerful person, you're in a position of privilege. 
uh, you are the majority uh, in many senses. Uh, rights exist to protect the minority. Rights exist to protect those who are a little bit different. Uh, rights are to protect those who are a little bit vulnerable. Rights, protect, protect, uh, rights exist to protect those who are a little bit weak. Uh, and this is centrally what we have to remember. Even if it's not valuable to you in this moment right now where you think about, oh yeah, you know, my privacy, my privacy, whatever. Uh, think about the fact that without privacy, you don't belong to you. You belong to society. Everybody's watching you. Everybody's judging you. Everybody's shaping you. Everybody's telling you who and how you're going to live. Privacy is what lets you make your own decisions. Privacy is what lets you be you.